Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, my question is for the Minister of Children and Youth Services. Minister, for young people who have special needs, whether it's difficulty speaking or mobility issues that stop them from getting around, the proper care can help them lead a more fulfilling and independent life. I've heard from constituents in my riding of Kitchener Centre about their needs for community-tailored programming. We have a wonderful example of this in my riding of Kitchener Centre at the Kids' Ability Facility that opened in June of 2011. Kids and parents now have access to therapy space and a large double gymnasium. Minister, can you please inform the members of this House what are you doing to improve services for children and youth who have special needs? Thank you, Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Speaker. And I want to thank the member from Kitchener Centre for her important question and for being at the event with me last week uh, at Kids Ability Centre. Our special needs strategy, Speaker, is focused on supporting children and youth with special needs to get timely and effective services through early identification, coordinating services, and making rehabilitation services more seamless from birth right through the school years. And when I was parliamentary assistant speaker to this ministry, I traveled throughout the province and heard from families, heard from researchers and service providers on the strategy and it informed the work we're doing now. So last year we invested $5 million a year to help children's treatment centers. And I want to say at this center speaker, at Kids Ability, the money we have given them is to help poor rehabilitation. But what's very, very exciting, through an additional 62,500 and one time Answer. funding to reduce wait lists, Kids Ability was able to eliminate, completely eliminate assessment waste lists through our funding speakers. So that you. means when a family goes there. Thank you.